Hello out there! First of all, thanks for not unsubscribing. I know I haven't posted any chemistry videos for more than half a year, so thanks again for your patience. Today we are going to make copper hydroxide, a very useful chemical that can be used to make a variety of other copper compounds much more easily than with copper metal. I know that copper hydroxide can be made simply from sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate, but it seems like a lot of people can't get their hands on that. Copper metal, however, is really easy to obtain. Good sources of it are copper tubing, scrap metal, wires from electronic waste, and there's always the internet. Now there are not so many acids that can dissolve copper. Most of those are very dangerous and usually harder to obtain than their copper salts. Metal salts can be corrosive too, but usually they won't attack copper, so we need to help them. Our setup is quite easy. We place two electrodes in a solution of sodium or potassium nitrate. The cathode is not very important, but it should be something other than graphite, because that will flake and contaminate your product. Also, it should withstand a weak copper solution for some hours, so aluminum is not the best choice. The anode has to be copper, because it will be the source of our copper hydroxide. Turn on the power. The cathode starts fizzing. That is because sodium metal is formed, which reacts with the water to make sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. At the anode, the copper metal is oxidized to copper nitrate, which goes into, into solution. When the copper nitrate and the sodium hydroxide meet, solid copper hydroxide and sodium nitrate are formed. The sodium nitrate stays in solution, while the copper hydroxide precipitates. Now let's see what this looks like in real life. As you see, I am powering my apparatus with solar cells. If you got some, use those instead of a power supply, because we want to be as cost efficient as possible. My solution is blue. That is because I made my sodium nitrate from ammonium nitrate and drain cleaner and didn't wait for the ammonia to evaporate off. It is forming a complex ion with the copper. Your solution should be clear or very light blue. After a few hours, disassemble the setup and, and let the beaker sit overnight. Then filter off perhaps wash and dry the copper hydroxide. And there we go. That is how to make copper hydroxide. Thanks for watching.